Hello brothers and sisters today is another bright new day that the Lord has made and uh we're going to rejoice and be glad in it and uh as of course we study the word of God and uh we understand uh, what he has to tell us today so um in today's bible study we are going to answer this one very mind blowing question which is always asked by many people how is the christian religion different from all other world religions how is the christian religion different from all other world religions all right hope you're in a comfortable seat hope you're ready to study and uh, i want us to get started let's get started all right now you have to understand that religion is a practice of faith that is religion is the external or ceremonial observance of a set of beliefs Technically there is a difference between faith which is the internal attitude and religion which is the external works so don't get me wrong on that but for the sake of uh, this teaching today we will define the christian religion okay the christian religion of course broadly as the faithful observance of uh, the teachings of Jesus Christ and his apostles If you check in the Bible in the book of James 1 verse 27 the Bible says that pure religion and undefiled before God and the Father is this to visit the fatherless and widows in their affliction and to keep himself unspotted from the world so we see that is pure and faultless that's the pure religion which is to look after orphans and widows in their distress and to keep oneself from being polluted by the world so in other words care for the needy and personal virtue are externals which are present when one has true love for god and since james specifies that he's speaking of pure and faultless religion there must exist an an unclean and imperfect type of religion as well a religion that's not based on love for god now i'm going to give you five reasons why the christian religion is better than non-christian religions and why observing the teachings of jesus christ is better than not observing them okay number 1 we understand that uh, the christian religion believes that Jesus Christ is the way to God in the Christian religion and uh, we understand that the way which leads to God is better than that way which leads away from God because we have sinfully wandered away from God the bible tells us in Isaiah 53 verse 6 that uh, all we like sheep have gone astray We have turned everyone to his own way and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. So all of us we have sinfully wandered away from God. And of course we need a guide to lead us back. And Jesus is that guide, is that way. John 14 verse 6 it says Jesus said unto them, I am the way, the truth and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. Jesus is the one who comes to seek the lost. So, we've been lost all through our lives we've been lost. And Jesus is that one person who comes to seek the lost. Luke 19:10 For the son of man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. He didn't come for any other reason. And Jesus claims not to be one of many ways, but the one and only way. He's in fact God himself in human flesh. Jesus is God for those who don't believe. John 20 verse 28 it says, and Thomas answered and said unto him, my Lord and my God. Could he have called Jesus God when he's not? So to find Jesus is to find God. Because Jesus told us in John 
14 verse 9 he told us uh, that anyone who sees me has seen the father anyone who sees me has seen the father so anyone who finds Jesus finds God and the Christian religion is unique in that it offers a close intimate relationship with the personal God of the universe another thing number two the Christian religion we understand that Jesus Christ is the truth <laughs> there are many truths out there so many truths which are just uh, fake truths or false truths and false lights we understand that uh, things that are true are better than things that are false and Jesus is that truth so if you follow him then you are following the truth John 14 verse 6 Jesus said unto him I am the way the truth and the life no man comes to the father but by me so he is the embodiment of truth the revelation of God to humanity Colossians 2 9 for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily bodily so the whole Godhead the whole Trinity dwells in Jesus bodily and of course Jesus is the conveyor of God's words he conveys God's words John 17 8 for I have given unto them the words which thou givest me and they have received them and have known surely that I come out from thee and they have believed that thou did send me you see so he conveys God's words and the Christian religion is also grounded in truth being based on a historical person who whose acts were verified by eyewitnesses and recorded by four different biographers and of course uh, parodies of Christianity often spring out through the work of a false prophet false prophets are there so they try to bring out another another false truth look at first John 4 1 it says beloved believe not every spirit but try the spirits whether they are of God because many false prophets are gone out into the world but Jesus only is true is him that we should follow in following Christ Christians have the utmost regard for truth as opposed to hollow externals and hypocrisy of false appearances and the Christian religion is unique in that it forces us to face the truth about ourselves and speak the truth with others number three Jesus is the life and that's why Christianity is the best religion because Jesus is the life okay life is better of course than death and heaven is better than hell and Jesus is that life he told us in John 14 verse 6 Jesus said unto him I am the way the truth and the life the life no man comes to the father but by me Jesus is that source of life and without him one cannot truly live think about John 1 4 in him was life and the life was the light of men John 3 36 he that believeth on the Son has everlasting life has right now has everlasting life and he that believeth not the Son shall not see life but the wrath of God abided on him John 5 24 verily verily I say unto you he that heareth my word and believes on him that sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into condemnation but is passed from death unto life John 10 10 the thief comes not but to steal and to kill and to destroy and I'm come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly so Jesus we see that he provides also what we need he's the bread that satisfies forever that bread John 635 and Jesus said unto them I am the bread of life he that comes to me shall never hunger and he that believes on me shall never thirst Jesus is that water that gives eternal life that water John 4 14 
but whosoever drinketh of, of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst but the water th- that I shall give him shall be in him a well of water springing up into everlasting life John 7:37 to 38 in the last day that great day of the feast Jesus took and cried students and cried saying if any man thirst let him come to me and drink he that believeth on me as the scriptures hath said out of his belly shall flow rivers of living waters Jesus is also the resurrection and the life John 11:25 Jesus said unto her I am the resurrection the life he that believeth in me though he were dead yet he shall live so we see all these are not just more than empty claims Jesus proved his ability to give life by raising from the dead Lazarus The story is well documented in John 11 and also Jairus daughter in Mark 5 and the boy from Nain in Luke 7 Then after his own death on the cross Jesus rose again the third day having conquered death forever Go and read Matthew 28 The Christian religion is unique in that it is based on the actual physical resurrection of his founder Another point is that uh, The beauty of Christian religion is that Jesus Christ transforms mankind. He transforms mankind. We understand that the Christian religion is quite better than other religions because righteousness is better than wickedness. And other religions may impose conformity to a certain code of behavior, but they have no power to change the heart. Christianity teaches that the believer is dead to sin and now lives the newness of life Romans 6:2 God forbid how shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein Romans 6:4 Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father even so we also should walk in newness of life so we understand the authenticating mark of a christian is his transformation from practicing sin to having a zeal of good works titus 2:14 who gave himself for us that he might redeem us from all iniquity and purify unto himself a peculiar people zealous of good works 2 Corinthians 5:17 Therefore if any man be in Christ he is a new creature all things are passed away behold all things are become new So you see the Christian's zeal for doing good has resulted in the founding of countless orphanages hospitals clinics schools homeless shelters and emergency relief agencies all in the name of Christ And the Christian religion is uh, unique in that it does not force change from without but changes from within okay Another thing is that uh, Jesus Christ is loving Jesus Christ is loving and the Christian religion is better than other religions because love is better than the absence of love The Bible tells us in John First John 4:8 that God is love. Let me read to you. First John 4:8 He that loveth not knoweth not God, for God is love. And first John 4:16 It says, and we have known and believed that the love that God has to us, we have known and believed the love that God has to us. God is love, and he that dwelleth in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. seeing the point so love is the greatest of his gifts to us think about 1 Corinthians 13:13 13. and now abided faith hope charity these three but the greatest of this is charity okay not the fickle 
so-called love of the world but the selfless unconditional love which always seeks to benefit the, the one loved god showed his love for us in sending his one and only son remember john 3:16 for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish but will have everlasting life and also john 1 john 4:10 herein is love not that we loved god but he loved us and sent his son to be the propitiation for our sins jesus showed his love for us in providing for our salvation by dying on the cross john 15 verse 13 greater love has no man than this that a man lay down his life for his friends jesus gave his followers a new command love one another love one another as i've loved you and so you must love one another by this all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another that is john 13 34 to 35 it's all about love love is a is not a duty or debt it is what motivates the believer and impels him to greater humility and greater service for the kingdom of heaven Christianity is unique in that it is not just a system of rules but a celebration of unselfish love. Love is the fulfillment of the law. Romans 13 verse 10. Love worketh no ill to his neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Get the point now? because man in his own creativity has invented innumerable religions in his attempt to reach god but god in his love has given us the truth one religion christianity in which god attempts to reach man hope it was a blessing to you guys uh that's the end of today's bible lesson I hope to see you in the next one.